Welcome back to the channel. Hey, everybody. We have Michelle Cohan. Hello again. Hey, Robert Greenblatt here. Today, Michelle and I are going to share with you <clears throat> seven, eight-ish tips on how to get your house ready for photography. So congratulations. You've made a decision. You are <laughs> selling your house. And now we're scheduling the photographer to come out. So what does that mean? Remember, people are going to be scrolling just like this right? They're going to be looking at hundreds, if not thousands of homes online. And you know, some homes just look a lot better than others. So <laughs> isn't it the truth? So Michelle and I are going to share with you about eight tips here in getting or forgetting. Forgetting, yes. Yeah. Forgetting, right, Michelle? Forgetting. <laughs> forgetting your house ready for sale. Michelle, run with this, please. Okay. <laughs> cleanliness mm -hmm. let's clean it up people yeah let's clean it up so look uh we're not judging you don't come to my house right michelle like none of our homes are perfect yeah <laughs> but um when you're getting your house ready for photography and then ultimately to show like some of that cleanliness might not show up in photos but it will show up when someone is walking through your home right yeah. So a deep clean, as we call it, is really important. And that's not the, hey, I have a cleaning person come once a month clean. This is when you have someone come in for like a day or a crew that comes in for a day and they're wiping down every baseboard. They're cleaning every window. They're pulling everything out of the fridge, right? That kind of, that's what you mean, right? Like deep cleaning. Deep clean. Deep clean. Okay. What else? So we're going to deep clean the house. What else are we going to do? We need those toilet seats down. Yeah, right. Doesn't that look crappy? No pun intended. Yeah. When the toilet seat is up <laughs> in a photo? Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't look right. All right. It, so we're, we're talking about bathrooms. Toilet paper rolls over or under? Or off. Well, I'm asking you. What's Me, the appropriate? I like it over. You like it over? I like it over. Over. I think over looks better too. I do too. Right? Yeah. So, um, but toilet seats down for photos, always, always, always. So always down for photos, always down for showings. Really, really important. All right. So we're going to make sure that house is clean. We're going to make sure the toilet seats are down. What else? One of my pet peeves, ceiling fans. Mm. I don't want to see an inch of dust on a ceiling fan blade. They're tough to clean though, aren't they? Go to Home Depot, go somewhere and get a fan cleaner, but... Mm. Or have the cleaning service who's deep cleaning right. your home. If you're hiring someone, have them do it. Yeah, you know, these ceiling fans, they do collect a lot of dust. And ceiling fans, people look at them, you yeah. know. They look at them. Even if you don't have the prettiest or fanciest ceiling fan, it's still important, you know. And they, they do collect dust. So making sure that ceiling fan's clean. So I'm going to jump in and give you one of my pet peeves too. Kind of connected to the ceiling fans. Yeah. Light bulbs. Yeah. Light bulbs. One of my pet peeves is please make sure all of the light bulbs in all of the light fixtures work. So if you have a ceiling fan with three light bulbs, make sure all three light bulbs light up. If you have recess lighting in, in a room or many rooms, make sure all of those bulbs light up. And just as important is make sure the bulbs match. Yeah. Same, right? color. The same color, same brightness, because it does make a difference. It comes through in the photos and it's clearly evident when you're walking through a house. So light bulbs, there's my contribution. What else do you have? How about curtains and blinds? Mm. They kind of hang there. And what do they do? They just collect dust. Yeah, they do. Well, they're hanging all lopsided or one's half up, one's half down. Right. If they're nasty, get rid of them. Yeah. Basic curtains, basic blinds are pretty inexpensive to replace. Sometimes you're better off with nothing than having something nasty hanging there. And the photographers we work with, they actually recommend that you open, I guess it would be open like this for curtains or open like this for some kind of blind, right. open it two thirds to three quarters of the way for the for a nice effect and the right amount of natural light. And I think that that does look great in photographs and during showing. So you may like everything closed and you may like it dark and cool in your house, but for photography and for showings, open it up. Right. Natural light sells houses. Right. What else? What else do we have on our list? To me, overall, you have to depersonalize yeah. certain things in your home. Let's have the people walk in and feel like it'll be their home. 
Yeah, exactly. Some of us have done a wonderful job at personalizing our homes if we've been there for a long time. And that's awesome because that's exactly what you're supposed to do with a home is make it your own. However, when it does come time to sell a home, depersonalizing it a little bit helps. So if if the hallway upstairs is just lined with your son as he has grown up and every year as he's played Little League, um, you probably just want to pack that up, yeah. right? Yeah, that makes it hard for someone to imagine themselves there. So you're going to move anyway. So Start depersonalize back. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Start packing. We'll bring you some boxes. Right. Really, really important. Um, and you're going to move anyway, right? So you might as well just start packing sooner rather than later. Uh, and it helps move that process along. And then I think the final thing we want to share with everyone, Michelle, has to do with odors. Does your house stink? <laughs> <laughs> put it nicely <laughs> any of our houses right. not your house maybe it does right we all everything's different we have pets we have cooking odors we wear different perfumes and colognes there's all kinds of things that can permeate our homes right right so you know if you're not sure ask a friend or family member who doesn't live with you hey walk into my house does it have a funky smell you know and um, something that you walk outside your own house for a few minutes and come back in, you'd be like, oh, something's Yeah, over. right. You know that, you know how they always say like, oh, bake some fresh bread or fresh right. cookies before an open house or before showing. There's some truth to that, right? Because right. fresh bread, fresh cookies smells great. Now, we're not suggesting that you have to start baking <laughs> and every time, every time someone's coming to see your house, but... Mm -hmm be aware of what smells or odors your house may have. And we were actually talking recently about, hey, those plugins, right? You know, those plugins that you put in, pros and cons. Yeah. You know? It could be overwhelming. It could mask a smell, Correct. right? Some people say, oh, what are they covering up? You know, you know. So if you're going to do something like that, I would say moderate. Correct. Do you agree? hundred. Yeah. 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 There is a, here's a quick tip guys. Again, if you have a pen handy, Odo ban, O D O B A N Odo ban. They sell it at the big box retailers. Most of them have it. It is great for getting rid of odors without leaving a smell. Mm. Uh, no, I don't work for them. They're not endorsing this <laughs> video. It's just a great product that if you do have some funky odors that you're having trouble getting rid of, it works at the enzymatic level and it does a really nice job and neutralizes the odor rather than masking the odor. So that's important too. So I think we got about seven or eight, maybe nine tips there. What do you think? Four, but these are the majors. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, if you guys are thinking about buying or selling a home here in Southern New Jersey and would like to get in touch with us, our contact information is below in the notes on our YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. If you are thinking about buying or selling a home and you don't live here in Southern New Jersey, reach out to us anyway. We have a powerful network of like-minded real estate professionals throughout the country. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below. We are here to help. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys again soon. See you.